What is up, E-Nation fans? This is E-Nation48 here. Welcome to another Diecast-related video. As you can see here on the title, I'm going to be doing a video on my all-time favorite NASCAR 164 diecast. There's a lot of my favorites. It's hard to choose which ones are my favorites. So, I picked the ones that I really like the most. Because I like to look at them and, yeah. So yeah, sit back and relax. It's probably going to be another long video. So, enjoy the video. I'm going to start off with the loose cars. Uh, by the way, I'm, I'm going to be doing the list by bottom to top. So, what I'm going to show you first is bottom. So, first up, it is Jimmy Johnson's 2011 Cobalt Tools. Or Lowe's Cobalt Tools Chevy Iron Plug for Hendrick Motorsports. This is one of the four... One of the four cars I got for my as my fifth grade graduation present from five years ago. So I, this is my all time favorite Jimmy Johnson paint scheme, the Cobalt Tools car from 07 to 11. I really like this car. It's just awesome. Next up, it is Rusty Wallace's 2004, I believe, Mobile One Clean 7500 Dodge Charger for Team Penske. Just, I like the paint scheme a bit. I like the body of the Dodge. It's just very awesome car. That's all I can say. And just let you know, these two cars are Pontiacs. And they're on the same team. I'll give you a second to think about it. Alright, if you guys thought Joe Gibbs, you, are, you guys are right. It is Tony Stewart's 2001, the Home Depot. Pontiac Grand Prix for Joe Gibbs Racing. Why do I like this? Because I love the paint scheme. I love the body of how they made the car. It's just amazing. Next up, Bobby Labonte's 1999 Interstate Batteries. Pontiac Grand Prix for Joe Gibbs Racing. Same reason as Tony Stewart. The paint scheme, the body of the car. It's just that damn awesome. God, I miss Pontiac. All right, now I'm going to be showing you three NASCAR Authentics, I guess. So stay tuned. Alrighty, so... Next cars are the NASCAR Authentics cars from Spin Master. I, I picked three of my favorites, so I really enjoy them, and I just love the paint schemes. So first up, it is Clint Boyer's 2014 Peak Motor Oil Toyota Camry from Michael Waldrop Racing. The reason why I love this car is because this is one of my all-time favorite Clint Boyer paint schemes when he was in Michael Waldrop. I really enjoy the Peak cars. It's just a beauty. Next up... Austin Dillon's 2014 Cheerios Chevy SS for Richard Childress Racing. This is one of my all-time favorite Austin Dillon paint schemes, even though I'm not the biggest Austin Dillon fan. I kind of hate him. I will admit it. He's a one-hit wonder. That's why I don't like him. And it's just spoiled. But other than that, I love the Cheerios paint scheme. I just wish it doesn't change anytime soon. And my all-time NASCAR Authentic Spin Master favorite is Jimmy Johnson's 2013. Lowell's Build and Grill, Monsters University, Chevy SS for Hendrick Motorsports. This is one of my all-time favorite paint schemes from 2013. Because I love Disney. I love Monsters University. I love Jimmy Johnson. I love... Yeah. <laughs> I love Jimmy Johnson. And then... Yep. It's just a beautiful car. If you guys don't remember this car, I'm going to show you. Come out. Just... I love the colors. But the Lionel version looks better because it has the actual colors. This is dark blue, but it doesn't bother me at all. I love this car so much. Now you got Sully, Mike Wazowski, Art, Terry and Terry, uh, Squishy, Don. Yeah, you got the main character of Monsters University. I just love the colors as well as the car. Now, onto the Lino action cars. Alrighty, so this was a very hard decision to make on uh, which is my favorite cars from Lionel. Um, once again, the list, top, uh, bottom to top, like I did to the loose cars and NASCAR Authentics. Now I'm going to be doing bottom to top on the Lionel action cars. Alrighty, so first up, Everett Jones is 2015 Interstate Batteries Get Well Soon Kyle Toyota Camry for Joe Gibbs Racing. I just love the color of the green and the new Toyota bodies on the uh, Xfinity cars. And this is my only favorite Xfinity car, I will admit. I don't know what are uh, my other favorites. But I love the green. 
the zebra color it's just that epic next up it, it was my first gen 6 car i ever gotten it is jeff goins 2013 pepsi max zero calories chevy ss for hendrick motorsports i love i really enjoy his pepsi max paint schemes i forgot to bring my jeff Gorn 2011 from the loose cars like i love the 2013 the 2011 hang on Here, this is one of my favorites too, right here. Just epic. Next up, it is Danica Patrick's 2015 Tax Act Chevy SS for Stuart Haas Racing. Like, this is one of, one of my all time favorite Danica Patrick paint schemes 2015. The 2016 2017, they look good, but honestly, this does not beat 2015. Those do not beat 2015. This will always be the best Tax Act car I've ever seen. Next up, it is Kyle Busch's 2016 M&M's Toyota Camry for Joe Gibbs Racing's on their 25th anniversary. Of course, the colorful M&M's colors of Kyle Busch. Who doesn't love those? I really enjoy it too, but I think it's one of my favorites. I wish it was raced on a regular season, but, you know, sponsors said, oh, you got race the 75th anniversary car, the plain yellow. Disgusting car, but I'm glad this was raced the last 10 weeks or so. Next up, oh crap. Next up is Kevin Harvick's 2014 Outback Steakhouse Chevy SS for Stuart Haas Racing. I love the paint scheme of it. It's just, I just love the paint scheme of it. It's really awesome die cast. I just really enjoy it. That's all I can say. It's a beautiful die cast. I, I really enjoy Kevin Harvick's Outback Steakhouse cars. I wish they ran Outback Steakhouse cars this year. I don't know why they didn't. It was blo free blooming money and every time. Where's the sponsor car of it? Sheesh. Next up, Jimmy Johnson's 2013 Lowe's Chevy SS for Hendrick Motorsports. The Blue Thunder, I guess they called it. Right, this is really an amazing car. I really enjoyed looking at this. Just, God, look at this. So beautiful. Ugh. Next up, it is Josh Wise's 2014. Dogecoin Chevy SS for Phil Parsons Racing. Again, love the paint scheme. And just, I love it that it's on EL mode instead of the crappy WLS or PTC mode. Just awesome paint scheme. Next up, I got this car five years ago. Yep, almost five years ago, actually. And it is Jimmy Johnson's 2012 Lowe's Madagascar 3 Build and Grow Chevy Ampla for Hendrick Motorsports. This. This car uh, made it to the very first video I ever made. This is the very first video I ever made, the Jimmy Johnson review of the Madagascar 3 car. And this used to be my all time favorite paint scheme until Monsters University car came, <laughs> for movie wise. I still love the Madagascar 3. All right, next up, Jeff Gordon's 2013 Exalta Standox Chevy SS for Hendrick Motorsports. I do not understand why this was raced once although i really enjoy the car just oh my god it's just so damn beautiful i just love the white and blue colors of the car it's just darn amazing i wish it was raced more to be honest but i'm not i'm grateful that was raced next up it is jeff gordon's 2014 exalta finish master chevy ss for hendrick motorsports sorry for, sorry for pausing it's just that I love the Exalta paint schemes from 2014 for Jeff Gordon. The flames of it. Just everything about it. The, the reason why I did not get the regular Exalta is because I'm, I'm on it has a WLS mode. And I did not want a WLS mode on Jeff Gordon Exalta. So I decided to get the Finish Master one. So many opportunities. I picked Finish Master. <sighs> yeah. Just, God, look at this car. Alright, next up. You guessed it, is another Jeff Gordon car. And this is Jeff Gordon's 2015 Drive to Unhunger Daytona 500 pole. Chevy SS for Hendrick Motorsports. I know I'm not a race virgin person, but I wanted to get Jeff Gordon's Drive to Unhunger 2015 uh, P, not PTC, EL mode. Because this, uh, this is so sexy right here. 
I'm glad they made a polo board that is an EL car on like Austin Dillon's. It's so beautiful. I love this paint scheme. I like the gloss of it, the colors. Pretty bright. It's just God, it's amazing. Like the paint scheme is awesome as well. Yeah. Put a fork on the road. It's Jeff Gordon. Alright. And I hope I and I love to get Chase Elliott's State's Home 500 pole car from 2016 as well. I will admit it. And my second to first favorite, it is Chase Elliott's 2015 Napa Auto Parts rookie Chevy SS for Hendrick Motorsports. This was a part-time car. And here's a story about Chase Elliott's car. Number one, my favorite number is 25 of all time in general. Number two, um, I got this car for free actually. Like there was this code from RCCA, I think it was. And I got this car for free with the pass uh, with the the code. I don't know what it was, but I got this car for free. Like I love the paint scheme of it. I love this die cast. And this is my second favorite die cast. Just oh god, awesome. And, and my all-time favorite, NASCAR 164 Diecast. And I'll give you a hint. He's probably good friends with Danny Ham. Uh, I spoiled it. He's, he's good friends with Chase Sully, let's just say that. Yep, you guys know who it is. But what car, though? I'll give you a second. My all-time favorite NASCAR 164 Diecast is... Denny Hamlin's 2014 FedEx Fright Autism Speaks Tori DeCamry for Joe Gibbs Racing. Why is this car my favorite? Why? Ian, why is Denny Hamlin's Autism Speaks car your all-time favorite? Because, number one, I, I'm diagnosed with autism and have Asperger's Syndrome. Number two, every year when it comes to Hamlin racing at Autism Speaks, I always go for him. And I really enjoy his paint schemes from 2011 to kind of 2015. FedEx cares. Wait, hang on. Number three, I just is my all-time favorite color is light blue. And it's just a kid, me as an autistic kid, I love this card. This will always be my all-time favorite diecast, no matter what it is. This beauty right here will always be my favorite diecast. All right, everybody. So now you guys know what are my all-time favorite diecasts are, from bottom to the top. My favorite diecast list. So that's like how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-one favorite diecasts. All right. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Um, follow my social accounts. Instagram, I'm Impress25 and eNation48. Like my Facebook page. eNasco48, eNation Films. Even though I don't use it anymore. But follow, uh, like that page because why not? Um, thank you guys for supporting eNation. And eight more days to my birthday. And, um... Yeah, so huh, when it's my birthday, it's E Nation Day. Just let you guys know. So eight more days till E Nation Day. So thank you guys for supporting this. Thank you guys for supporting E Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.